Call it a womb with a view. This Sunday on the National Geographic Channel, there'll be two specials that give us never-before-seen looks at cats and dogs inside of a womb. And we are joined now by veterinarian Dr. Bernadine Cruz. Good morning to you. Good morning. This is pretty fascinating because we're talking about 4D technology, not 3D technology. What is that? It's somewhat like looking at a photograph looking at a video. So 4D ultrasound is absolutely amazing. Even a lot of women who've just had babies have never had a 4D ultrasound done. The fourth dimension being time. time so we right. see this over time. What are we seeing now of these cats and dogs that we didn't see before? Well, what you're actually gonna be seeing, number one, you're gonna see a lion in uterus, and you see they have this special little swing. Not just cats and dogs. Not just cats and dogs. You're actually looking with the dog, a Neapolitan Mastiff, a Golden Retriever, a Chihuahua, and a wolf. And then for the cat special, it's a lion versus a domestic house cat. And it's a working mother, so you're seeing the special apparatus that a lioness has so she can keep working and protect those fetuses in her uterus. When we see these, when we see the pictures, how do you, how do, you do this? It is absolutely Technology. amazing. Technology. It's a combination of some fantastic photography, some first time ever seen 4D ultrasounds, and then very scientifically correct visual effects. So it's a combination of all of this. And you're talking about over 30, 60 days? Well, for the wolf and for the dog, it's about 63 days of gestation, pregnancy. For the cat, it's 63, but for the lion, it's 110. Look at that, that is just amazing. And they all start yeah. off the same. You have an egg and a sperm, and in that first couple of days, you can't really tell what's gonna be a human and what's gonna be a cat or a dog or a lion. We talk about birds and the bees a little bit here. Is this something the kids can watch with the parents? It is fantastic for the children because children really don't know all about the circles of life. How do you teach them about sex? So this is a great way for them to watch it. So many people, their mothers, fathers, want the children to see that miracle of birth, but there's so much pet overpopulation. So this way, they can watch it, and when it comes out in DVD, you can watch that puppy go in and out, in and out, as many times as you want to. And this technology, though, we talk about it with the cats and the dogs, and we'll, it helps humans too, I mean, this is something we can apply. We learn so much. Since humans really share about half of our diseases with dogs, and we know the entire genome now of dogs, when there's a slight genetic change in a dog, it can cause big differences, same in a person. So it's really getting down to this one world, one health, one medicine. What we're learning in dogs help people, and what we're learning in people helps dogs. And occasionally when it comes to cleaning up the house, I act like a dog if you ask my wife, so uh, there's the application right there. Dr. Bernadine Cruz, thank you very much for you this morning. Uh, in the Womb Dogs, followed by In the Womb Cats, premieres this Sunday, January 4th at 8, 7 central on the National Geographic Channel.